Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. Hope your holiday weekend has gotten underway without uh, uh, too much of an issue this morning, but uh, we and this afternoon. But we've got uh, but a surprise this morning. Even the Hurricane Center was caught a little off guard with this, but overnight. We had some disturbed weather off the North Carolina coast and a tiny little low-level circulation developed. And I guess it must have checked all the boxes uh, because uh, they uh, made this a tropical storm, Tropical Storm Colin. Uh, and it's uh, sitting right offshore North Carolina. Actually, the center is probably just inland. It's hard to tell from the satellite. Uh, there could possibly be even some multiple centers here. There might be one inland, and then there's another one that might be uh, just offshore. You can see the, the brighter white cloud tops are all out to the east. There are some patches of rain that moved inland. And when I, I, I looked at the surface observations, I really didn't see anything astounding in the way of wind it's probably a bit gusty right along the immediate coast but as far as sustained winds of uh, 35 40 miles an hour uh, those are, are more than likely well offshore and as we check the radar down there uh, off the north carolina coast uh, you see these patches of rain just inland uh, there are some heavier patches of rain offshore uh, warnings are up for the entire north carolina coast uh, from the south carolina border on northward through the Outer Banks. Uh, but I honestly think this is not going to be too big a deal. Uh, if you uh, turned off the uh, turned off your phone or didn't uh, watch any uh, newscast uh, this morning or early this afternoon and didn't know there was a tropical storm out there, you w certainly wouldn't know it by the kind of weather that's going on. It's not really standing out all that much just from, from what I could see. And there's the Hurricane Center's uh, forecast at uh, 33.6 north, 79.0 west. Top winds are 40, moving northeast at 7. So it's basically going to be straddling the North Carolina coast tonight into Sunday morning before it moves out to the northeast. And we've got this cold front that's dropping southward, so that's going to wind up absorbing this. Meanwhile, uh, as we uh, take a look at the northeast satellite, of course, once we had these overnight uh, showers, which were a bit more widespread up in New England. Once those moved on through, we've broken out into some sunshine. The daytime heating has taken temperatures in the 80s. And now we're looking for the possibility of some thunderstorms to fire up. Starting to see a, a little green dot there uh, up in the uh, upper Hudson Valley uh, indicating some lightning flashes going on. So uh, we're starting to pick up a bit with respect to uh, some cells on the radar. And you can see them here uh, in the Catskills and also moving into northwestern Massachusetts, a couple of lighter showers down in southern Pennsylvania. I would suspect that we're probably going to see some more activity develop in the next couple of hours going into this evening. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the Storm Prediction Center uh, not indicating, uh, they are actually, I'm sorry, they are indicating the possibility of a severe thunderstorm watch going up for parts of New Jersey down into northeastern Virginia and uh, also uh, indicating uh, that one other area, the likelihood uh, of a uh, potential severe thunderstorm watch uh, being issued for the Hudson Valley, northeastern Pennsylvania, and just north of New York City. They have not addressed the zone in between in some of their mesoscale discussions. But uh, don't be too shocked if we wind up seeing a more than likely as soon as I'm done doing this video, because that's usually how it times out, where they throw up a severe thunderstorm watch. Rainfall amounts uh, this coming week, because we're in this pattern where we continue to get these weather fronts coming through every couple of days. So we're looking at anywhere from three quarters of an inch to as much as an inch, inch and a half. And of course, the amounts are much higher as you head south into southeastern Virginia and North Carolina because of the impact of some of that tropical moisture, three to five inches possible uh, in eastern North Carolina. I, I think that might be pushing it uh, with respect to uh, uh, some of that becoming from Tropical Storm Colin. Now, you look at the, the GFS, you really, it doesn't even, the GFS has a tough time picking out this system. It's so small scale. But uh, for us, it's, it's mainly about this cold front that you see these showers and thunderstorms that uh, develop on the GFS, uh, its depiction of the model going into this evening. Uh, that front is going to be moving southeastward uh, during overnight and into Sunday morning. It's going to 
probably get hung up slightly during the overnight into tomorrow morning, which is why you see suddenly a batch of showers that develop uh, across Maryland and New Jersey uh, around 7, 8 a.m. Sunday morning. That's what the GFS is indicating. And then by 1, o'clock in the, 1 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they're all offshore. Some of that has to do with the fact that that tropical system is kind of causing that front to slow down a little bit. Uh, but ultimately, the front wins, and we should see decreasing clouds uh, during Sunday afternoon with uh, increasing sunshine and decreasing humidity. And that will lead us to a clear night Sunday night and a mostly sunny Monday, 4th of July, with dew points in the 50s and temperatures probably up uh, into the 80s. So it should be a delightful day. Tomorrow's might be wind up being a bit of a transition. And then moving through the week, Tuesday looks dry. Uh, we've got some kind of cold front coming through Tuesday evening with some showers and thunderstorms. Uh, then we'll uh, deal with uh, a mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday, perhaps a little upper trough there that drops down into Virginia, North, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina. Uh, and then we'll move along to another cold front that will approach toward the end of the week, probably sometime on Friday with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So that's our pattern. It's a northwest flow. And... It's, it's more of the same. It's just wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, it gets hot and humid for a day or at most two. Then it gets less humid for a day or at most two. And on and on it goes. So no real changes as far as the uh, long range is concerned. So we'll see what uh, Colin does as we go through the afternoon. With the center so close to the coast, it's hard to imagine this thing really developing very much. And, of course, we're going to be watching uh, the radars with regards to developing showers and thunderstorms. What you're seeing here, by the way, is the radar at 2.45 p.m. Uh, this Saturday afternoon. So, obviously, if you're watching this on a replay, the radars and satellites are going to be dated. So, check it on weather.gov for the latest weather information regarding severe weather in your particular area. And we'll pay a close attention to what the Storm Prediction Center does with uh, regards to uh, severe weather watches that might go up later this afternoon or into this evening. Joe and Joe Weather Shows tomorrow, Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So, we hope to see you then.